the trouble with a lot of us is we've left the importance of Calvary out of our messages. Instead of us letting people know that you've got to be saved, we bypass being saved and we're reaching for the Holy Ghost. And what happens is we've got a lot of unsaved folk in church. You don't have trouble out of folk in church that saved. The trouble you have out of folk that in church are folk that profess and don't possess. Anybody can talk about being saved, but when you get somebody that's sure enough saved, it's a difference in them. They don't act like they used to act. They don't talk like they used to talk. They don't raise a cane like they used to. Because when they get saved, something happens in them. And I know the Bible is right. For the Bible said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. But what's happened to us is we fellowship a lot of sinners in church. We've given them the right hand of fellowship, but they've never been born again. We shake their hand and put them on different boards and auxiliaries in the church, and they ain't never been saved. So what happens is we've created Frankensteins. We've created board members and created folks on our boards that beacon them. Ain't never been saved. Ain't never had the Holy Ghost. Ain't never been blood washed. And then you wonder why they raise so much hell and give you so many fits and organize things against you. It's not God in them. It's because they ain't never been saved before. I don't know, but it's just hitting me. Folk that get saved don't raise hell. Saved know how to respect the elders. Folk that get saved just ain't gonna say anything out of their mouth. If they're saved, they watch what they say because they know the Bible said, Let your words be few and seasoned with grace. Let your yeas be yeas and your nays be nays. There are just certain things they ain't gonna say because it ain't in them. If it's not in you, brother, you might say anything. Talking about you're saved and getting up and never been blood washed. You can take a hog out of the hog pen and wash him up and put a silk suit on it. But the minute he sees slop, he's going to jump in it. And the reason he's going to jump in it is because his nature has never been changed. The reason folk are still lying and putting on their collars backwards is because they ain't never been saved. But when you change the nature of a person, their whole attitude changes. Sam, what's wrong with the church? Ain't nothing wrong with the church. Every time I turn around, I've been coming to Memphis all my life, and all I hear is folk getting up. This is wrong with the church. That's wrong with the church. Ain't nothing wrong with the church. It's the folk around the church that profess and ain't possessing nothing. Getting in caucuses and everything else, washroom and bathroom caucuses, and meetings in the bathroom, and ain't never been blood washed. Raise hell and we'll have general assembly and everything else because they ain't never been saved. But when you get folk that show up been saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and that with a mighty burning fire, the fire burn everything in you that ain't got no business in you. And when your hands go up, it's holy hands. When you open your mouth, it's a holy mouth. When you walk, it's a holy walk. When you talk, it's a holy talk. Why? Because I've been born again. I'm getting relaxed now. <laughs> Paul penned his letter, if you would allow me, penned his letter to the Corinthians because of the fact. In your reading, you'll find that the Corinthian church was a church that was founded in the midst of paganism. And you know that's something about this grand church of God in Christ that we just can't do everything that everybody else do. There are certain things that we can't do because it is not our success formula. The success formula of the church of God in Christ is prayer and fasting. We get folks saved. There were certain things when I got saved that you just didn't do. There were certain things that the ladies just didn't do. But nowadays we want to be just like the world. But the Bible said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We're supposed to be a, a peculiar people. We were brought out of darkness into the marvelous light. But I think what's wrong now is too many of us are trying to be like the Joneses. That is not our success formula. The success formula of those of us that have been born again is we believe God can do anything.
anything. Miracles are still happening. The reason miracles don't happen is because we don't supply the faith.